Hi, everybody. My name is Brandon. I'm a functional health coach here with Nutrition World, and today this is Nutrition Made Simple. We're going to be discussing heart health. Some of the most important things you need to know about heart health are some of the nutrients that support the heart the most. One of the biggest things that we like to say around here is that fish oil might be the most important nutrient out of the whole store. And the reason for that is because there's plenty of data to support that fish oil is extremely great at preventing heart attacks. In fact, there's a 25-year watt page study done by a group of doctors that states that it might be the most important nutrient to prevent heart attacks out there. So really, really great studies about it. And it's one of the best things out there to support the heart because your heart needs a lot of healthy fat. Another thing that you can really look into as far as heart health is concerned is getting on a ketogenic diet. The reason for that is because as our hearts age and as our heart collects uh, damage over time, small amounts of damage, has a hard time receiving nutrition from the normal sources such as glycogen and some of the proteins that you take in. And so ketones, on the other hand, bypass all that damage and go directly into the heart and allow yourself to uh, allow the heart to be nourished with a ketogenic diet. So just make sure that it's done properly is the main thing. You don't want to do an Atkins diet where you're doing a bag of bacon every day. You want to be able to do this really well and very efficiently for the heart and have a measured amount of fat throughout the day and have uh, everything controlled. And so you want to do an Atkins diet properly. And fortunately, we do have coaches here that are professionals at the Atkins, at not Atkins diet, but the keto diet. And they do it very well. And so you want to see, uh, search out some professional help. We have that here for you. Also, you want to look into uh, tocotrienols. Tocotrienols are utterly amazing for the heart. Um, they're a source of vitamin E, right? And so tocotrienols are much more important than to- tocopherols, right? That's another component of vitamin E and tocopherols block the absorption of tocotrienols. And so um, they're not as healthy as the tocotrienols. Tocotrienols are 50 times more effective than tocopherols in the bloodstream when it comes to heart health. And tocopherols really helps support your heart health when you have plaque buildup, when you have uh, inflammation in the arteries, when you have certain things going on in the body that aren't that healthy for it. Another thing you need to be on would be uh, uh, garlic and natokinase, both of those are really, really great at helping the endothelial layer of the arteries and helping those uh, respond very well. And also they're antithrombotic. And so what that means is they really help with uh, anti-clotting agencies in the system. And so you really want to get on those as you age. Those are excellent at helping you and supporting you around clotting in the blood. The other thing that you'll want to look into is getting on some B vitamins. B vitamins are very important for the heart because they help with homocysteine levels. Homocysteine levels, what those are is, is when they get really high, it's, it's a measurement of inflammation in the body where uh, the system starts to damage the arteries. And so we want to prevent that. B vitamins do a great job of that. K2 does a great job of helping with that. So does uh, another thing called Tudka. Tudka really helps with that, which is a bile salt that helps the liver digest and break down a lot of the fats that are in the body. And so that's another thing that brings us to cholesterol. If you have a a weird amount of HDL to LDL or not that ideal, then you'll want to get on niacin. And you don't want the kind that flushes. You want the kind that is regular. And they do have some time-released niacin available that makes that a lot easier for you. But you want to get on niacin because it really helps flip that ratio. It really does a good job of helping your good cholesterol to bad cholesterol be what it needs to be. And that's the most important aspect of cholesterol anyway, is that uh, certain component. But Tutka also helps with that too, because what niacin is doing is breaking down cholesterol uh, breaking down components into bile acids so that they can be um, carted out of the system. Tudka also helps with that as well. Incidentally, Tudka, this bile salt that I'm mentioning, also helps with heart damage. And so it supports you when you have um, an enlarged heart or supports you uh, nutritionally whenever you have damage to the heart from heart attacks and whatnot. So you might want to check into that as well. Another thing that you want to need to be on, that you want to be on during this time is something called CoQ10. CoQ10 is extremely good for the heart. It's in all the muscles of your body, but it's something that's very, very good and and, uh, concentrated as far as its need for the heart. And if you especially Especially if you're on a statin to lower your cholesterol, you want to get on CoQ10 because statin has been clinically shown to remove CoQ10 from the muscle of the heart. So you want to replace that. All right. That's all I've got today. Y'all have a beautiful day and take care.